Do you want a fully designed website that looks great, scores A's in speed test with a 98% performance score, and loads in under one second, all without doing any coding or technical optimizations? Well, in this side ground tutorial, I'll show you how to achieve this on a WordPress website using SiteGround. I'll go over everything step by step. Welcome to Emmet Reviews, where I provide you with real and honest information about web hosting. In today's tutorial, I will be using SiteGround, so you need to have a SiteGround account to follow along. If you already have a SiteGround account, you can skip to this part in the video and save yourself some time. But if you don't have a SiteGround account yet, keep watching. I'll show you how to get one with a significant discount. Click the link in the description that will take you to a special SiteGround page dedicated to the viewers of my channel. If there are any discounts, they will be applied automatically. Now choose a plan. I recommend going for at least the Grow Big plan to remove any limitations and unlock tools like ultra-fast PHP and website staging, which will make your life as a web developer easier in the future. In this next step, you can use a website name you bought elsewhere or buy one from SiteGround. You can generally get website names for around $5 cheaper than what SiteGround is offering, but the price is yearly. I just prefer to pay the small amount extra just to have everything in one place. If you live in the European Union, you get domain privacy for free from GDPR laws, so you don't need to buy that. And the SG site scanner is just not worth it. When you're starting out, it's an overkill. So finally, confirm the terms of service and click pay now. By this point, you should already have a SiteGround account and it should look a little bit something like this. Anyways, let me show you how to set everything up and tweak the settings for the best possible performance. The first thing that I'll show you is how to create a WordPress website using SiteGround. You'll want to click on Websites and then click on Add New Site. If you've purchased a website name, click on Existing Domain and then choose your website name from the list. If you still don't have a website name, just use a temporary one provided by SiteGround for free and you can change it later. Then choose Start a new website and select WordPress. Here you'll need to create login information that you'll use to administrate your website. Make sure it's secure because anyone that has this information will have full control over your website. Once you have a secure name and password, finally click on finish. Since SiteGround will take care of the installation completely automatically from this point, there's not much we can do except wait. And while you're waiting, could you click that like button and subscribe? Since you are about to own your own personal website and I do create a lot of web hosting and website related tutorials to help you become a better webmaster, you're definitely gonna find some helpful tips. Sideground automatic installation will be done if you see this screen. Time to tweak some settings around to make everything much better than it is now. Start by clicking on Manage Site. This will take you to Site Tools, a custom control panel developed by SiteGround. Let me show you what we'll be working on here. If you would go to your website right now, just after the automatic installation is finished, you would see that there's actually nothing there. And that's not very surprising to be honest. But it says not secure at the very top, which is totally not cool. So first we'll fix this not secure message before doing anything else. In Site Tools, click on Security and then SSL Manager. Select the website name you're currently working on and choose Let's Encrypt, then just click on Get. In just a couple of moments, SiteGround will install an SSL certificate and encrypt your website free of charge and completely automatically. Once that's done, click on HTTPS Enforce on the sidebar and activate it. This will guarantee that visitors will only reach the secure version of your website. Next step, click on Speed and then Caching. 
make sure that engine x direct delivery is on and then memcache in this third tab is active as well this will make your website significantly faster by preloading content moving along click on cloudflare and choose setup by doing this, we'll add our website to international servers all across the globe to have great loading speed around the world. To do this, create a new Cloudflare account and simply select Activate Free. Once again, SiteGround will do the rest automatically. The basic settings are all good as is, but scroll down to the bottom and switch the SSL support to Full Strict. While we're on the site tools dashboard, let's get one more important thing out of the way. Creating a professional email address. And by professional, I mean something like info at your site.com or contacts at your site.com. So click on emails and then accounts. Type in the name you want to have for your email box and the password for it. I'll go with just Emmett and click create. If you want to check this email box, click on these three dots and then log in to webmail. This is where all of your special emails will go to. At this point, essential features are pretty much configured and we can move on to designing and optimizing your own personal WordPress website. If you're still inside the site tools, click on go back to my account here at the top. Now go back to Websites and click on WordPress Kit, then near the WordPress Admin click on Go. I've noticed that sometimes you might get an error in regards to your SSL certificate. And this happens because all of the changes we just made hadn't had enough time to take effect yet. So if this does happen to you, do not worry, just come back in like 20 to 30 minutes without doing anything and your website will be fully working and you can continue this tutorial. However, as I mentioned, it doesn't always happen. It depends on how busy the network is. Anyways, by clicking go, you should be redirected to the WordPress dashboard where you will need to use your login information that you've created during the first step. Once logged in, you can immediately click on exit because this is not needed. Now let's add a design to this website to make it look better. First up, hover on appearance and click on themes. Then choose add new theme and in the search bar type in Astra. Then click on install and obviously activate once it's done. Now go into plugins and you should see an Astra banner where you can click on get started. For your website builder, I recommend you choose Elementor. And once that's done, at the very top, sort the themes by free. This way, you will not see any paid themes that will distract you. Find the theme that you like. I'll use the one I've shown you earlier. Click on it and then click Import Complete Site. Answer the two questions and click Next, then just click on Skip and wait a bit. The installation will take a few moments and after the installation process is done, you can click view site and a bada bing bada boom, you've got an awesome looking site. Now, I won't go into too much detail on editing the site, I'll leave a tutorial I did earlier on screen right now instead, but long story short, you can click edit with Elementor on every page and the editor is pretty much just drag and drop and double click to edit. Once we have a design loaded in, let me show you how to use the tools that SiteGround gives you to optimize everything for better performance. Keep in mind that these tools are exclusive to SiteGround and will not work on other web hosting providers. If you want to use a SiteGround yourself, I'll leave discount links in the description down below. Once inside your WordPress dashboard, you'll see the SG Optimizer plugin at the side. Click it. This is basically every single optimization tool you'll ever need in one place, completely free of charge. Let's go over the settings. First thing you want to do is make sure that dynamic cache and at the very bottom memcache are both enabled. Next, go into environment optimization and enable HTTPS, then activate fixed insecure content. Now go to frontend optimizations. This next part is very, very important, so don't you dare skip it. If you're following this tutorial exactly as I'm showing it, that means using an Astra theme, you don't have to worry about this, everything will work fine. 
However, if you are using your own website or a completely separate design, be very careful about activating the next settings. Test them one by one and have a backup ready because your website can break during this. Again, I'll activate all of these without checking, but in general, this is a stupid practice. You should always check them one by one. I am doing this because I know that Astra themes don't break like this since I haven't edited it past the default state. But if you're using something else, be careful. What this does is it basically minimizes and combines code so your website takes up less space. Next, in media optimization, make sure that new image optimization is selected, then click start optimization. This will reduce the size of all existing images and the new images, making your site even smaller and even faster. Then activate lazy load media. Now open the last tab named Cloudflare, type in your Cloudflare email address and the global API key you can find by clicking here. Then just click on Authenticate. Oof, that was a lot of settings. Luckily, you only need to edit them once and they're persistent throughout the whole website. Okay, let's check how our website performs and how it loads. So we have this website, it's fully functional, you can edit the buttons, texts, designs to your liking, and it's loading stuff pretty much instantly. As soon as I click it, it's loaded. But most importantly, check this out. Using GD metrics, I was able to measure the speed, and those are some pretty good results considering everything was done automatically by SiteGround. If you want to switch to SiteGround yourself, I leave discount links in the description as always. But most importantly, you can find more tutorials on my channel. My name is Emmet, and as always, good luck creating your website.